Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to use ChatGPT to find the perfect brand name and even an available domain name that you can register. So we'll run through the steps using ChatGPT from signing up to using the right prompts so that you can find that perfect brand name for your future business. First of all, to access ChatGPT, if you don't have an account already, simply go to chat.openai.com. From there, you'll see an option to either log in or sign up. We obviously want to sign up, but if you already have an account, you can skip this step and simply log in. Now that you're on the ChatGPT interface, we are going to start writing a prompt. In this first step, what you're going to want to do is best describe what your business offers, what it does. Perhaps it's a software tool or a website. Simply prompt that in ChatGPT, but we are not done yet after that. To give you a starting point or a guide to writing your description, you can read my one here that I had written. It says, I am developing a software that allows marketers to quickly and easily create eBooks to offer to their audience by simply following some prompts. When the user is done, they are then given template options for their eBooks ebooks cover design and interior. The aim of this tool is to make it dead simple to use so even the most technically challenged can produce an ebook. That's just obviously a guide. You can go as detailed as you want. And in fact, the more detailed you are, the better and the more information you are going to give the AI or chat GPT in this case. And the results will be uh, much better because ChatGPT will know uh, what your product or service is about and therefore giving you better suggestions. The next thing that you're going to want to do is add another line saying, based on the above description, can you please list some brand names and suggestions, right? This is a general prompt that we can start using to seed this conversation. And here are 10 suggestions that it's come up with. We've got easy ebook, quick page, snapbook, click right, swift cover, simple story, create ease, flip folio, speedy script, and publish pal. In my opinion, these are pretty good already. And what we can also do is prompt ChatGPT to, ex to explain where these names came about. So I've typed out, can you provide an explanation of each and how you came about the brand names? Let's press enter. As you can see, ChatGPT has explained with each of the brand names that it came up with previously, what it's about, right? So easy ebook, the name emphasizes the simplicity and ease of use of the software while also clearly conveying the product's purpose of creating ebooks. Really good there. And if you want to get a description, it's actually justifying and explaining how it came about, you know, with these names. If you're not happy with the brand names that it's come up with so far, all you need to do is say something like continue with more examples or ideas. Let's press enter. And now it is continuing off where it left. So from number 10, we've got number 11 all the way to 20 and quite a few more ideas here. And that's how you can start off finding that perfect brand name. Next, what I'm going to do is explain and share a few more ideas with you to find even more brand names that may be a little more unique. The first tip to prompt ChatGPT to find that perfect brand name is to use two word brand names. So what we're going to do is say now suggest two word uh, brand names like YouTube and Facebook. Let's see what it comes up with. Here are the results. Once above, they're not too bad and they are already two word brand names. And this is something you can use to find that two word brand name instead of finding ones or getting results that are three words, four words or whatever it may be. So you can actually dial down and get ChatGPT to find those two word brand names. The next way that I wanna show you to find brand names is to use alternative spellings. And this is how you can prompt ChatGPT for that. You say, suggest brand names that use alternative spellings like Fiverr and Lyft. We'll press enter. And here we go. We've got ebooker, quick page, snap book. <laughs> That's a pretty weird one. Uh, writers, covers, pages, scribbles, publishers and uh, booker mate writers pro as you can tell really hard to pronounce so it may be a little difficult just be 
a little uh, cautious using this kind of prompt because obviously you don't want to have anything that can't be pronounced that easily. The next tip to finding your brand name is to use what's called a portmanteau. So think of FedEx and Pinterest where you're joining two separate words into one. So all you need to do is type something like, now suggest portmanteau brand names like FedEx and Pinterest. So let's press enter. And here's what we got. We've got Bookstar, Markify, Bookify, and a couple of others. So that's another way to finding your brand name. Now to dial down even deeper, and let's say that we like one of these examples. It's a easy ebook. All we need to do is say, I am liking the easy ebook brand name. Can you please suggest more like this. So now we're feeding the AI and telling them what we like and so they can suggest more like this. Something you may or may not notice is some of these sound pretty good and they kind of rhyme. Fast Folio, Rapid Read, Swift Script, Effortless Ebook, Speedy Spine. This is what we call alliterations and we can dive deep and say now suggest some brand names based on alliterations. We've got Word Wizard, Design Dream, Paper Power, Content Creator, <laughs> Cover, Craftsman, Ebook Expert and more. And this is another way to find creative brand names. Next up, before you go ahead and select that perfect brand name, you may want to check trademarks in the countries that you may want to register it for. For example, if you want to make sure that Copycraft isn't taken or if it's trademarked in the US, then you want to make sure you search that. In the United States, it's the United States Patent and Trademark Office. This particular webpage, I'll link up in the description box below so you can go directly to this. And what you do is you search our trademark data as a side note, I'm just giving you general tips in terms of searching for trademarks. If you want to get professional advice, do seek a legal advisor or an alternate. So once you're on the webpage, go to basic word mark search and let's search for copycraft and click on submit query. And it says no records found, which means that it in my sense isn't taken. So this could mean that we could go ahead and go with copycraft if we wanted to. But as another example, I'm going to use design dream as a query and I'll now search it. And here's what it's come up with. It's not the exact name that I've put in. You can see dream by design. Now what you can read right here, it says live or slash dead is either that the trademark is live and that it's still active or the ones that are dead, which means the trademark no longer exists. By doing your due diligence and starting off doing a basic search like what I did, and of course seeking legal advice and professional advice that is, you may avoid a lot of trouble in the end. It's best to do this step before actually registering anything. Let's now go back to ChatGPT and search for an available domain name based on a brand name that we like. Taking a look at our conversation, let's say we like all of this that's listed here. I'm going to copy it and prompt chat GPT the following. Now search for an available domain name for the following brand names. Here are the results. It's saying that simplewrite.com is taken, but simplewrite.co is available. The alternate is to simply go to the domain registrar, let's say namecheap.com. I'll paste in one of the brand names and that was quick reads. So we know the .com is taken as it's not also showing in the listed items here, but we can select, let's say .io and other alternative extensions. And that's the path you can go to if you want to find an available domain name. It doesn't always have to be a .com, which is pretty hard at most times. A little disclaimer though, if you are going to use ChatGPT to find an available domain name, it may not always be accurate. For instance, let me take instaebook.com. It says taken. However, when I do a quick search for instaebook.com, here it's available and I can add to cart and purchase it. So don't rely 100% on ChatGPT if you do want to find a suitable domain name for your brand name that you like. Another prompt you can go with is suggest brand names and available domain names for each and I'll press enter. And here are some suggestions. So we've got a .co, .net and some of these other alternatives. It does give you a little note saying that the availability of domain names may change over time and may also depend on factors such as top level domain 
domain, da da da, and country specific domains. But in the end, if a .com is not available for your brand name, don't fret because there's always other extensions that you could use. And it's quite acceptable these days because a .com is almost impossible to get for really short names especially. .co is fine, .io, depending on what you're creating or what you're doing. Ideal for something like software tools because it's about input and output, .io. We also got a .ai if it's a tool that has to do with artificial intelligence. So find one that is more or most related to your brand name. All right, and there you have it. Those are some steps, processes, and creative ways and prompts that you could enter into ChatGPT to find a suitable brand name for your business. If this video helped, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next. Take care for now and thanks for watching.